Hey everybody, it's Terry Torch playing Final Fantasy 3. Slash 6, I don't know. I think I'll change the name of the playlist to that. Uh, so, we're in uh, Daryl's tomb. And these guys are weak to fire. Uh, barely, to be honest. I mean, my regular attacks are going to be stronger. You know, if I just use attack with Sabine. If I just use uh, chainsaw with Edgar, it'll be stronger. I don't think Cells has fire. I don't even know what happened. I, yeah, I put them with the, the Ifrit. You don't really need to. This place is not that hard. I thought, you know, I, I remember it being a lot harder, but I must have been a lower level last time I played or something, because this, I don't know, it doesn't seem that hard. Uh, they do zombify you, uh, so make sure you have some revivifies. Um, the thing is, when they zombify you, it's not that bad, because you, uh, you just attack. The problem is sometimes you attack your own party members, but usually you just attack them. Uh, that won't work against them, because they're undead. So, they just do that. Uh, those insta-kill moves that you use. Because his, uh, whatever, what do I have him equipped with? Some kind of darts or something? Yeah, they, uh, they're an auto-kill move, and all undead enemies are obviously immune to that kind of stuff, so. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go to the, well, we're gonna get this down first. But we're gonna go to the bottom right room first. There's five ways to go in here. Yeah, let's use those. I was thinking, I was wondering, I don't, I don't think she has a move that can... I'll just heal up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think she has, like, a move that can get rid of Zombify, so... Like, I don't think she had, like, life or anything like that that would get rid of it. Okay, so we're gonna go down. Bottom right. Get this chest. Genji helmet. Uh, equip that to Edgar. It's very strong. I think it's just... Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the best armors in the game. Um, helmet. Armor. You know, uh, and I'll give him the crystal ball. Okay. There we go. Let's go up here. What does this say? Oh. Okay. Well, open the door, I guess. Let's just go down. Let's go in the door. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, that skull kind of reminds me of Secret of Mara a little bit. You've got a skull on it, something. Why are all these doorways skull based switches? I don't understand. Anyway, um, so now we're gonna go to the, uh, oh, dang it. Okay, so let's fight these guys. Um, yeah, we haven't seen the Mad Oscar yet. I think these are, I mean, I don't know, the, the, what are those things called? The, uh, I don't remember the name of the enemy. There's enemies in later games and in earlier games, I think. Yeah, like there. I think they're like in the second. Or maybe the first game? I don't know. Uh. Marlboros or whatever. Marlboro. I don't know. Say, I can't say Marlboros. Those things. Uh, I mean, I feel like this is what they're based on or something. But, I mean, they're ugly, but dang, that thing's real ugly. That Mad Austin. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah, so. <laughs> I've been, yeah, I've been trying to get Chrono Cross to work still. I don't know what's wrong with it. But, I mean, they're kind of... The recording seemed to work this time. Like, the last time I did it, the recording worked. But then when I tried to... Oh. Like, in the software, the recording was just fine. But then when I was, it was outside of the software, it would mess up just like normal. So I don't know. I'm working on it. <laughs> It's kind of weird. It's been like a month and a half since I let since I put out the first episode. Anyway, Crystal Mail, uh, it's pretty good. Give it to uh, Celis. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, okay, let's open that. Uh, we'll be trading that at the Coliseum. We'll be betting on it because I don't want it. So. Uh, let's click that thing. There we go. Um, what is that turtle doing? <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, more enemies. Okay. Um, should I run or should I? Oh, I'll find again. Um, yeah. Use chainsaw. Um, I mean, the thing is, chainsaw is usually stronger than drill. Like it ha has a stronger attack, but. Depending on how high their defense is, drill would be better if they had higher defense, and 
Drew would be better if you do that, because that misses most of the time. When it works, it works, it's great, but when it doesn't, it really sucks, because you didn't take any damage at all. Um, what are we gonna do? Oh, I need to keep, yeah, I need to keep that. Uh, I was like, whoop, Okay, um... Yeah, I wanted to see how I could do Fire Dance, but... Yeah, or what is it called? Phoenix Dance, or whatever, but... I forget. Because there's two ways to do everything, but I... Like, for the diagonals, I think you can just click over again. You know what I mean? Like, instead of over, diagonal, down, diagonal, over, it can be over, over, down, over, over, down. Or, you know, left, left, down, right, right, down. left, left, down, right, right. That would be what I do. So. That thing looks scary. It's actually not that strong, the, uh, the, what's it called, Doom Demon or something? I don't know. It, it's really weak against magic, like if you use blitz, one blitz should kill it, but the x rays take the yeah, power demon, that's what it's called. Yeah, one blitz would kill, like one, uh, what's it called, aura blitz would kill it, but, nah, I just, just trying to get through this. <laughs> Alright, so then what we're gonna do is go back up here. And right, go in here, what does this, what does this say? Mm -hmm, no good. Well, the cart's gonna do something. That's weird. Uh, it's just, yeah, just one. Alright, so. Yeah, let's split it. It's not gonna work because it's an undead enemy. Uh, yeah. And there we go. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I mean, uh, um, I learned to break. Yay. I really, I've never, I don't think I've ever really used Break that much in any Final Fantasy game. I just never, it could have taken too long to work, I think. That's my problem with it. Okay, let's click that button. Oh, it breaks the water level, look at that. See, the other button you couldn't unclick, but this one, you can just click it again, and it turns off. It's so weird. Anyway, uh, let's go through this door. Uh, Fortune stones. Whoa. What does a wall mean? I don't. I don't know. Why would someone? Why would someone uh, put that on a tombstone? I don't understand. Um, maybe if I. Maybe if I read it like, like a book, maybe or maybe the opposite of a book. Yeah, maybe the opposite of a book. Uh, wet. Draw. Let draw. Cause it's pretty good. Let crawl to draw draw. Actually, what it says is the world is square backwards. Which is, I guess, because square is made by Squaresoft, or because the map is square. I don't know. Those are the only two reasons I can think of. I mean, we can tell the world is square. Every time we're on the world map, it's, it's a big old square. So, we go here, carve it, and just carve it in order. The world is... Yep, the world is square. And then... Um... Da -na -na -na, it tells you where there's a XP egg at. I think I'm gonna give the XP egg to Sabine actually. I I, I want to learn all. I just kind of want to learn all Sabine's. Um, what are they called? It's, yeah, it's over here. I'm gonna get caught in. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say gonna get caught like I'm sneaking around and they find me and go, "Hey, you, get over here." But um, uh, I want I like like the way he learns the or like the or moves or what are they called again? The uh, blitz moves. It's based on his level, and I, I just like to learn him as fast as I can, so I'll, I'll put XP on there. I'll just switch it from character to character. Um, because I'm lazy. It, it's going to make the game probably a lot easier to have one, because one character is going to be always way higher level, and then once I get to another character, you know, after he leveled it, leveled up a little bit, it, it, it'll be really simple. But I think it lets you use more characters that you wouldn't normally use because they're not going to suck as much, you know what I mean? Like, I could put it on Sabine, but then I, later when I get more characters that I don't normally use, I can use them because they're not going to be weak. So I can show off other characters that I haven't really 
got a chance to, because I've kind of, I mean, I like these characters more. I don't like Setzer, but I like Sabine, Edgar, Celis, Terra, probably the most to use. I think they're just the easiest to use, but I figure I should actually show off some of the other characters. I mean, you know, Cyan, I think Cyan sucks, and I think Setzer sucks, and I think, you know, a lot of them, and Gal, I don't really like Gal. Um, the old man, Strago, he's pretty good, but the daughter, or granddaughter, or whatever, she's not that good. You know, so there's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of characters, you know. Monk's pretty good, but can only, the things that, that it, it can equip are very limited. It can only equip spears, and I think, some, I don't know, certain types of armor. So, you have to be sure about that. So, anyway, let's go back to this middle room, and let's hop on this turtle. Turtle? Let's hop on that turtle. Yeah, my Marin impression is not very good. Sorry. It's not, not a very complicated reference, I don't think. Anyway, uh, alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna end the episode real soon. So let's get, oh man, let's get within that chest. Um, yeah, preemptive. I like preemptive stuff, because then you can just run away immediately. It's pretty cool. Um, man eater. It, uh, it's strong. It, 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 I don't know. I forget how much damage, it, but it, 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 it multiplies the damage based on if the enemy looks humanoid. So that, it, yeah. All right, so save it. All right, and uh, next time we'll uh, see what's in that chest. Uh, it's a surge horse. See you later, guys.